Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Darksiders 2. So we've got more of a puzzle to perform and solve. So can I get to that wall and climb up there? And climb up all the way over there? Is that what it wants me to do? Maybe, maybe not, because I've already got the key, and there's already a door with a key to unlock, so... Uh, Let's see what happens when we do this. Hmm. I don't really see the need for the locks to be so high that we have to have magical arms to fix it. I mean, it's big and it's bold and it sort of kind of makes sense uh, from a visual perspective. But from just not being ridiculous, it, that's th there needs to be something different. All right, and we've got a guy here. It's just a little. So maybe if I grab this guy. No, not doesn't seem like there's a major just got a beat on him. Apparently. Is there somebody else in this room or is the game just being silly? I needed to come in here with the construct. Mm, shouldn't have given up the construct. Grab all, as much gold as possible. So will this guy really fit through the door? Hmm. I don't think he will. Here's what I'm thinking. It's kind of crazy. But I think they want me to actually destroy my construct and turn it into a ball this is insane but I think they want me to do something like this and then come over here and activate this And I may not be ready to do that. Hmm. There's nothing really up over here. Looking around. Just trying to make sure there's no hidden pages of the Book of the Dead or something. Just keep keep our speed up, however. So we can get in the water, no problem. Down in the water, we're looking for collectibles. I don't see any. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there are any. Out of the water. Like, yeah, that sur sure feels like the they intended me to go this way. Jeez, the, the level design and the animation team were not communicating in this development. You just don't do that. You just don't have this big window towards the outside where the character clearly seems like they should be able to move. And then try to correct... The fact that you can't actually go there by having invisible walls. Hmm. So, yeah, I need ball to go there. So, this section of gameplay I can't do. 
So it has to then be this section that I'm supposed to do next. Hmm. Just look around. Let's see if we see any collectibles. Hmm. Hmm. No. Nothing there. Hmm. The underwater vegetation, probably a waste. They could have done without that being in the game. So, I guess we're climbing upward. And looking around. Another platform that really felt like I should should have been able to uh, to get on top of these platforms and if not at least look around and get my bearings find a shortcut or jump. This game doesn't really reward you for trying to find a second path or anything like that. It's always there is only one path whatsoever. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I got here on hand, so, or by hand, so I know that I'm not supposed to have the construct with me. Looking around here just to see if there's any stones to shoot. I haven't seen any of those in a while, so. I'm wondering if they're either hidden better or I've just gotten worse at finding them. This looks like that could be a cool dive later on. We'll see if the game even lets us take the dive. You see that? If I didn't see that it wasn't animated and that it's just like something should be there first of all <laughs> like a rock or something blocking it so that it doesn't look like you can jump over there and it should be animated differently so it doesn't look so enticing hmm nothing here where are we on the map so I know um Yeah, it's, this is a awkwardly attached section. You can see right there we can get back to where we were. And so I, I think the right move is to just jump in the water. It would be kind of funny if this was the absolute wrong move and, and there were some fish that were attacking me or something. I believe there might have been some kind of fish in the first game, like a piranhas type creature. Uh, not things that were really annoying or dangerous in any way, but still creatures in the water that War could swing his, his big sword at and kill and get a little bit of health. Collecting all of these gems. It's nice to be able to stay under the water forever. Since you're dead already or your death. Uh, although the rules are pretty unclear about what it means for you to be death. Is that a title? Does war have an, a different name? Does death have a different name? Or were they just assigned these titles. Why can't I jump up on any of these rocks? There, there was never a time that I can recall where this felt like a jump that obviously you couldn't make. That's too realistic. That That's, that's a, a normal human couldn't make that jump, not a Nephilim. Let's see. 
before I take that passage, let's see if there's something else I missed. Hmm. Getting a lot of clang of armor. A lot of walking. A lot of noises. As the music decided to stop playing. Hmm. It's quiet. Too quiet, as they would say. But they do have to do that. They they have to fade out the music to to not cause it to repeat all over the place and, and become annoying. Although at this point it feels more like the music engine crashed. So if I hit this Hmm. Yeah, this feels more like the music engine just crashed. Uh, which does happen on very rare occasions for games. Uh, generally, it doesn't cause any other problems. Hmm. I've hit a nice level where I no longer... I'm really suffering from a lack of money, uh, lack of health, a lack of will. There we go. So the music returns for that sound effect. The maker shoulder piece crafted for the champion that would rise against corruption. Maker artisan smiths forged the masterwork armor as a shield to who would protect all of creation make a body armor crafted for the champion that would rise against corruption make all the smiths for this make your gloves make your boots so that really feels like that was some dlc stuff and could we do this it would vastly increase our defense and resistance and strength but it would turn down our uh, it would turn down our experience and I think we're gonna find that that is the case for all of these is that nothing is gonna prove to be right let's see yeah no I can't pick any of these until experience goes up. I will take this, however, and equip that. And get some different outfits. Hmm. We're still nowhere close to rank 11, or uh, rank 12. Again, it feels like the animation team's not really communicating. And like they were in different offices on different parts of the sides of the planet or something uh, because there's so much of a focus why could I do that what was the point of being able to do that or get stuck behind these rocks uh, all of these outfits don't make any sense for this type of game the last kind of character I would want to play dress up with and really do uh, do any kind of creation or personalization is not going to be death it seems like the music really has just crashed interesting hmm This is always an interesting experience, although it's not a normal human experience. I, real people, real video game players aren't going to intentionally turn off all the music. Well, I bet there might be a small contingent of people that just hate music so much that they might turn it off. But the music in this game is not that bad. Let's see if we can fix it. Uh, options. 
and music volume and back resume options and music volume back and resume hmm didn't seem like that fixed it hmm seems like we've collected everything this way so it's this switch was needed I think to power the wind the water mill yeah without that background music without those sound effects like you really just hear the regular sound effects hmm. and they knocked him out and made it very obvious what I was supposed to do hmm I think I might be able to swim through here and have a little bit of an adventure. No, that's boring. That's real boring. Hey, here you could have introduced a small bit of comedy where death fell into the water and got pulled away but I guess instead we'll just do some of this and dive hmm yeah let's see if we can find where to get up swing to get myself out of being in line put him right there that should be a good position let's see I'm not, I'm not making half the sound effects now like he only goes hoo ha every now and then Hmm. Here we go. So, by walking into a different area, we now have the background music or sound effects of one of many tracks that must have been must be overplaying. All right. So now we hear water crashing and things happening and it, it's not just as as silent although it still feels like maybe some of this is still not playing right hmm. so Oh, good thing it dropped the ball, otherwise I would have had to go chase after it. And again, opportunity for some comedy, which even an action game certainly could do with little bits of comedy. Uh, Shakespeare certainly has some of that uh, in the middle of like the, some of his bloodiest, most tragic plays. Uh, it would help characterize death in any way because he's not really being characterized at all he just feels like he's this 
wandering person doing random things for a not completely explained or doesn't seem even well thought out goal. He just thinks if he gets to the Tree of Life he'll be able to bring people back, to bring all of humanity back to life. Like there's really no indication we've seen that that's the case. All right, so now I got one of these little balls. What is that going to do for me? Hmm. I guess maybe we'll find out later. Let's go up here and come over here. Hmm. Well, I don't think I could get one of those balls up this direction, so I don't think I'm going to need it. I may not need it at all. Hmm. It sure does feel like the background music just crashed in this area. Or maybe it's a bug from the definitive edition, or maybe it's a bug from the original edition. It just... This is way too quiet. And if it's too quiet to me, it's probably rather quiet to you. Hmm. See, I just had to do that. I didn't have to blow it blow it up. And pup pup isn't talking. Okay, so his his audio is one of the tracks that's crashed. Also. And to get to this point to get the key I would I needed to break this gym which I guess maybe you could have broken the gym by some other means than the way I did it you're gonna come over here and pick this up pick it up Come on. Hmm. And the construct is just going to stay here in broken pieces. Which a piece of his soul was supposed to be in that. Oh, a piece of some maker's soul was supposed to be in every construct. Small piece. Hmm. Hmm. So if I run this way, will he like, hey, we've got a new ice character. Will he have the stone? I don't see that he has the stone here. Hmm. Hmm. Did he knock him into the wall? I think he did. And there's more water filling up the area, which doesn't really mean anything or do anything. Hmm. And how was he going to get the stone? I guess I could go open the door for him if I can convince him to. If I can convince this game to stop being bugged and have him actually carry the element. 
Hmm, it's time to save an exit, I think. There, I just double jumped right through the loading section. Uh, pick it up. Hmm. Well, we've got a problem. And it seems like the only thing we can do is quit. And we'll see where quit gets us. Will it get us to the main menu? Or will it get us all the way out of the game? Hmm. Now, options-wise, if we're over here... Like there's there's no different options from this menu than there is to anything else. So by quitting, did I really reset anything? Well, apparently I haven't triggered the thing. And he's talking again, at least. So, second time's the charm. This game really cannot survive bugs like this. It's not going to keep my attention uh, if I have to do a bunch of crazy things. Notice how the game saves like every single treasure chest you break, every single item. Let's try this again. So that's what was supposed to happen. And we may get attacked going over here again. No, it saved that fine. It just feels like the music is still broken. And I really don't know what filling the water would have done in this section. Like, doesn't feel like it did anything. It's just there to make the path slightly easier. You still have to go up here and go over here. I still have to run through this. Let's see. What happens when I grab these guys? Nothing. Hmm. Now, to be fair about the audio breaking, because it clearly is broken, I have had this game running for just at pause for a while. Like, maybe a day, maybe two. Maybe longer even. But oddly, I didn't run into a problem uh, in the previous recording, which I just recorded. So I played for 30 minutes, and now we've got the music back. So, uh, out of an abundance of caution, I think I'm going to save the game and exit to desktop in between... Uh, this at the end of this recording just so I know for certain that it's as fresh as it's going to be um, if that doesn't solve any potential future bugs or at least reduce them uh, then we're going to have interesting so We got the second heart stone. So the water mixes with the lava to make 
obsidian, I guess is what you would call it. Hardened magma lava. And we've got one more place. His feet are now stuck in the ground, but I guess maybe that won't matter. And we finally can reach this construct. We could look at these these things just to make sure there's nothing in them so when we look at the map there's this locked door which is funny because I'm pretty sure we've been in this room there's this which we did and that which we did wish I could zoom out on the map a little bit better yeah we've done everything on this in this dungeon it's been rather long but it doesn't feel very satisfactory uh, it's been a while since I played a Zelda game but I feel like I'm getting NES Legend of Zelda 1 experiences with these dungeons uh, not something like a modern Zelda game not not anywhere close to Breath of the Wild although oddly I guess this game is sort of close to Breath of the Wild because that game did become this open world adventure game that has very small dungeons uh, but uh, nothing like Ocarina of Time or uh, any of those games Wind Waker uh, seems like there's gonna be a boss fight and an item and that's it I'm gonna save and he's gonna throw me somewhere I don't know where he's gonna throw me actually um, I don't know if that's the right move if he's just gonna throw me over th that point or what like, I, I don't see a reason why I would need a construct right now well that's gonna be it for this recording we could go into the menu and see if there's any new items but there aren't so we don't have to deal with that that's it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend or follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below uh, when you subscribe, click that notification if you would. If you want to support me further, gift me something on Steam. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.